Helicoil Thread Repair. This housing has a damaged hole. The one on the right, the threads are missing at the top. The one on the left, the threads go almost all the way to the top of the housing. Look closely at the other one. You notice most of the threads are missing from the top of the housing. This hole needs repairing. We're going to use a helicoil. We're going to drill this out and place a helicoil in there to restore those threads. We need to use an 8mm by 1.25 thread repair kit. Here we need the 2164 drill. This is the helicoil insert we're going to use. It's going to be for an 8mm bolt with 1.25mm between threads. The length is 12mm long. And it tells us which specific tap to use. This is the correct one for that kit. Here we need the 2164 drill, so we'll choose that from our drill index. Make sure to cover up the housing so the chips don't go inside. We use a lubricant such as a cutting lube like this BioTap lube. Place some of the lubricant into the hole. as well as on the drill bit. When you drill, make sure you drill straight up and down so you go directly into the hole. You don't want to drill crooked, your threads will be crooked. When you're done drilling, you have to clean up the metal chips. Be careful not that they fall inside the housing. Use a little air to blow out the extra chips. Now select the tap. Place some more lubricant into the hole and onto the tap. Place the tap into the T-bar. When you place it into the hole, be careful that you make sure the threads go straight in. You want to keep the trap straight up and down. Starting the tap is most critical. Make sure you start it carefully and check for proper alignment. Partway through, the chips may cause binding. Back the tap out and use a little bit of air to blow the extra chips away. You can even apply a little bit more lubricant. That'll make the cutting process go easier. Finish off cutting the rest of the threads. Since this is a blind hole, be careful that you don't hit the bottom of the hole and break the tap off. When you reach the bottom, remove the tap. Clean the metal chips off with a rag. Then use some brake clean down the bottom of the hole. This will force the chips out of the hole. Being careful not to get chips into the housing, take a rag and wipe the chips off very carefully. Now finish off with some more brake clean. 
and a little bit of air. The threads you have created are the perfect size for the helicoil. When the helicoil is inserted, the inside threads of the helicoil will be the 8mm by 1.25. Thread the helicoil onto the installation tool. Notice the tab at the end. That has to catch on the end of the tool. That gives us leverage when we spin it in place. Thread the helicoil onto the end of the tool, making sure that it catches on the tab of the tool. Here you can see how I've got it set up. Now align the helicoil straight up and down onto the new hole. You can get it started just a little bit by hand. This is enough to keep it in place. It does have some spring tension to it, so you will feel a little bit of resistance. Once you got it started, you can use the T-handle to finish off the installation. Carefully turn the T-handle, making sure that the helicoil installs correctly. It'll feel like you're turning against a spring. Carefully install the helicoil until it's approximately 1 to 2 millimeters below the height of the housing. When it's the proper height, remove the tool. Now you need to break the tab off. Use a drift punch that fits down into the hole and tap it with a hammer. The tab is down in the middle of the hole. Now take a small magnet or magnetize a screwdriver and stick it down into the hole to pull off the broken tab. Your threads are now designed for an 8mm by 1.25 bolt. Take a bolt and check the operation. When you're done, you can see the newly threads. This is your thread repair. It looks perfect. Finally, clean the metal chips off of your tab. Use a little brake clean and some compressed air. And clean the metal chips off of your drill as well. Once again, a little brake clean and some compressed air will clean that properly.